Hello, today we are going to see how to customize Pega provided portals or how to customize the view in default Pega sections or how to customize the area around your case in Pega provided OOTP portals. Say for example, if I launch the user pro portal which is provided by Pega out of the box. So here by the side of my work list, say if I want to add something in brackets, say like my tasks, say that could be your business requirement, right? How would you do that? So firstly, you need to select the cell in which this text or this field is present. For that, we need to use a debugging tool called Live UA. So this is the dynamic layout. In that, there is another dynamic layout. In that, there is another section in cell. So finally, I want to open this. For this rule to get open, you need to click on this mirror icon. So now the rule gets open in the Dev Studio or Designer Studio. Firstly, you need to click on private edit or you need to save as into your layer so that this you can customize it. In phase one, let's do a simple private edit. So private edit means this change is available only for this operator and not for all the operators in the system. You can select convert to full section editor so that you can change this rule type from design template view to normal developer view. So now I have, I can make changes. Say I will add a label and in that label I will write my tasks list. So the, I need this as for my business requirements. Okay. So now let me reload this user portal. Woohoo! I got my task list here. So now we will move to the phase two. If I log in into the same application with a different operator ID, means different user, then he will not see this change. Only this operator is going to see this change. So you need to check in this change into a rule set, which is mentioned in the application stack for this change to be available for all the operators in the system. For that, let's press check in. I did not create any branches, so there are no branches. We'll talk about branches in a separate video. So currently, say this rule is present in theme cosmod rule set. If I want to check in, I cannot because there are no unlocked rule set versions in this rule set. Both of them are locked. I don't know the password because these are shipped by Pega. If any rule set is created by you or your team or your company, then only you will know the password. We don't know the password for Pega shipped rule sets. So let's just try basic password, say rules, unlock, uh, 020101, let's, I'm just trying it out, see, that is not the password, Pega doesn't tell you the password, because Pega company doesn't want you to unlock their shipped rule sets to end to make changes in their rule sets. You should make changes in your own layer, in your application layer, in your application rule sets only. So now if I click on this plus icon, a new version is created so that now I can check in, but that is a blunder. Never do that. Never create new rule set versions in Pega shipped rule sets. Why? Because say if you 
customize this section rule and save in theme cosmos 020102 rule set version it will be available only in your instance only in your server when you are deploying this entire thing into another pegas server then you will be importing only your rule set versions not the ones shipped by pega because you will install whatever pega is shipping all those rule sets means pega end user ui all the pega application stack and theme cosmos and you will deploy only your application rule sets so the code will not be carried that is the first disadvantage or drawback the second problem is say tomorrow if pega launches 8.6 or 8.7 or 8.8 .8, at that time they might have thousand more rules in the theme cosmos rule set and they might keep them in this rule set version so there will be a conflict so never create new rule set versions in pega shipped rule sets so i'm closing this yes discard i have to discard this as well so this is not the right way then what is the right way to change this section the right way is you need to override this as per java you know what is overriding you are overriding in your application rule in your layer in your rule set in pega design terminology so you need to click save as don't change the rule name if rule name is different it is not called as overriding see there are two methods method name is different then only it is called as overriding likewise name should be same class should can should be class can be same but here this is the context is nothing but the application see pega platform is pega application cosmos is another application built on top of pega platform so you see the application definition see pega rules is the pega 8 application it contains many rule sets oh 50 plus rule sets now cosmos is an application which is built on top of pega rules application now claims is my application claims is or your application your layer the application which your team has created which is built on top of theme cosmos Remember, whenever you create a new application, if you select Cosmos, then your application will be built on top of Team Cosmos UA. So, hope you understood this. Claims is built on Team Cosmos, which again is built on Pega Rules. And hence, same you are able to see here. Claims is built on top of Cosmos, which is built on top of Pega Platform. So Cosmos and Pega platform are Pega shipped applications. So they don't have unlocked rule set versions. So you can't make changes in them. Don't create a new rule set version in these two applications because they are shipped by Pega only. The changes should be made by Pega team only. You need to select claims, which is the application you have created. You might create another application, say claims two. On top of claims then you will get one more radio button here claims too you can save as this in whatever application you want depending on your business requirement that you need to consult your business analyst or bpd or tech lead so now you can save as this in your rule set in your application yes now convert to full section editor from design template so that we can make some changes so now I will add the label so as you can see now first let me save it so now I will reload this see my task list has is not there now because I have discarded my earlier change right so I will add a label here I will write my task list Submit, save. So now this section 
we have copied as or saved as overrated from team cosmos rule set into our rule set why because we, as per our business we need to show here some other button or link or label so that to incorporate my change i have done this now i will reload this as you can see this is my task list my task has been accomplished hope you loved this video do subscribe to this channel and watch all the videos religiously to get that skin in the game thank you